Yes, that's right. Today we're in a game that was made by the Bubblegum Simulator devs. Okay, maybe I should address what's going on with my voice right now. I lost my voice. I'm looking for it all day. I can't find it. So in this video, I have a lost voice. We just have to deal with it. This is what I sound like. One like equals one Russo gets better for my sore throat. I don't know what happened, but it's it's here to stay for the moment so we got to get through this video told you guys i'm not gonna miss an upload the rest of december and i'm not gonna miss an upload okay i missed one upload yesterday but i still uploaded a video so i didn't upload two videos but today i'm uploading two anyways let's get back to the nitty gritty and play a game that's brand new by the way made by the bubblegum simulator devs and the mining simulator devs guys this game is called rumble quest it's a brand new game that just came out and apparently it's just like treasure quest dungeon quest and World Zero combined? I don't really know. We're gonna check out what makes this game different and unique. And now if you guys are excited, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and this is not a voice effect. This is what I sound like. Bear with me if, I, if my excitement or energy levels are a little bit lower than normal. It's because of this. Whoa, this guy's insanely OP. This guy is insanely cool looking. He's got like a bunch of spider eyes and stuff. This is my second time being in a server. So they all recognize me and they, oh my gosh, guys. I'm new. Can someone help me become OP? Okay, so I don't even know how to play the game yet, but I'm already getting people that want to potentially carry me. <laughs> I'm going to try and play this game as legit as possible because I do spend a lot of Robux and I spent a lot in my past few videos. So let's just try and actually play this game and see what happens. What is this right here? This is sell. So you can sell items that you've collected. I could sell my sword right now, but then I would have no sword. And I also have a wizard wand and a fireball. Okay, so I got a sword right here. This is how I use it. Then I also have a fireball. I can just shoot a fireball, but I can't do it here because, you know. And then I got group benefits. Join the group Rumble Studios on Roblox. Am I not in the group? Okay, for some reason I was not in the group, but uh, hopefully it works now. I might have to like reset my character, I'm not really sure. But anyways, we'll go back to that, the group benefits. So in this game, it's kind of like Dungeon Quest where you're in a lobby and then you hit play and you start a dungeon. I clicked on this game before just to check it out. And uh, it seems pretty cool. They got caves and then they got the underworld. This is the, I think these are the only worlds available right now. Caves is the easiest. Tells you how many times you've cleared it and your best time. But what's cool is it shows you your possible rewards. I don't think any of the other games does this. I don't think like Dungeon Quest or Treasure Quest does this. Um, so it shows you what you can unlock and what the percentage is. So it's kind of fun because it makes you like want to grind to like unlock a specific kind of loot. And then maybe as you go up, like maybe once you do this one, the hardest mode, you get like a better chance to get something in here. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works, but we're gonna go ahead and go in a dungeon and I might just join somebody's because I'm super weak. I might just start one and see who joins it. Um, also, there's an area over here coming soon. Ooh, what's this? Unlock two exclusive cosmetics. Nice. VIP, that's pretty cool. Well, I mean, we might get one of those game passes, who knows? Cause my buddy Isaac is the one who created this game, developer of Bubblegum Sim and Mining Sim. So anyways, let's get right into it. If you guys are hyped, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Oh, an upgrade thing as well. Okay, we just gotta get into it. Let's play our first dungeon and see who joins. So this is my dungeon right here. Long ago, these caves flourished with gems and gold, but have since been abandoned. Legend says, a great beast claimed the caves and treasure for himself. But that's just a myth, right? I don't know. I don't know. But we got some people in my thing. Uh, I don't know how many people can join a dungeon. And I think all the XP is shared. Uh, so some people are joining. They're all level one, though. We got UPSP for my Discord. Shout out to the Discord. Oh, my gosh. We got a level 81. This is that guy. So I'm going to start the game. This is our first time doing the caves. And literally, we have a level 81 carrying us. <laughs> That's insane. So let's do this, baby. You guys ready? Oh my gosh, he looks so cool. He looks crazy. How is he that high of a level? So let's use fireball. Ready, fireball. Okay, nice. So the models are really cool. The combat's pretty nice. Definitely feels, you know, dungeon quest-esque, but with a little bit of kind of a twist. I don't know, I, I like it though, I like it. Let's use our fireball. There we go. The abilities are really smooth. Oh, did I level up? What just happened? I leveled up. I got level two. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so all of us level ones or level twos now, we're doing barely any damage. But these guys up here, the 81, he's carrying us. But are we sharing XP? I can't even tell. 
Like, if I'm my ex- Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So we are sharing XP. So he's just carrying me through the dungeon. That's insane. He's literally carrying us, bro. He said he's a pro in the chat. Yes, I'm wreck. Thanks. Thanks for the carry. Bro, this guy's insane. Also, we're able to use the music because Beast Slick composed it, and it should all be safe for use, so that's pretty cool. All right, we're about to level up to three. Can I do anything to, like, make my player better yet? Or Oh, wait, there's two different ways. Oh, no, this way. This is the way. This is the way. So how do I bring up, like, my... I don't know how to bring up my UI or anything. Is there a way to do that? How do I do that? Oh, gosh. I'm low on health. Bro, I'm low on health. Somebody help. Somebody help me. There we go. I leveled up to level three. So our first time doing a dungeon, we leveled up three times. Is there a way to bring up, like, the UI? If there is, I don't know how to do it, but I'm clicking all the buttons. Oh my gosh. We're battling the King Orc. This is the boss. So the boss in the caves of the King Orc, this guy's probably going to take him out in, like, two seconds. This guy... Oh my gosh! I didn't even get to see him. <laughs> I literally didn't even get to see him, but that's what we unlocked. So we got ourselves a wizard hat, 700 experience, and almost 700 coins. This is what you get for hardcore. So you can end up getting four items eventually. The extra reward is a game pass. You know what, guys? I know I said I wasn't going to get game passes, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to. That'd be sick. Let's check out at least what they have in the shop. Um, So this is what I unlocked just now. I got a an old robe's head. So let's wear it. There we go. We leveled up a bit. We got our melee damage up, health buff. Not too bad, not too bad. What else do we have that I can equip? Uh, wizard wand. To, can I equip it to my right hand? Oh, so I need to unlock dual wield, but I can't, oh, I can unlock it early. No, I'm not gonna unlock dual wield early. That's kind of OP. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go to the shop and see what they got going on here. So they have some offers for coins and stuff. Oh my gosh, are these cosmetics? I think these are all exclusively cosmetics. I kind of want them. I really like those cosmetics. And then this is the passes. Double coins, skill resets, inventory slots. I kind of want to get the extra drop, guys. I know this is big, but we're going for it, okay? I want an extra drop. This game's super fun. I want to support Isaac. So let's go ahead and grab this thing. It's 1,700 Robux for this, so make sure you guys use code RUSSO when you're checking out buying Robux because I'm going to be broke after this. We also got Dual Wield, which I'm kind of, like, contemplating. And you know what? I might go for this. I might go for the inventory just because in case I get really rare items and then I can't use them, that would stink. And then I feel like I got to go VIP if I'm going to do this. And then, oh my gosh, I, I'm literally spending all... I'm literally buying everything. I said I wasn't going to buy anything. But I, I accidentally ended up uh, buying everything on complete accident. Honestly, I'm fine with it, especially in this game, because like I said, Isaac is my bud and his games are great. So he deserves the Robux support. So we got a cosmetic right here. Let's wear it. Oh my gosh, that looks sick. That looks amazing. Bro, I look sick. So this is my cosmetic. Even though this is what I have on, this is what it shows. So the cosmetics obviously are just for look. But the sell value is good. I could sell that for a lot. What else do I have? Do I have anything else? Oh, you could change your appearance? I didn't even know that. You could literally change your appearance, bro. I could be blue. I could become blue. I'm not going to become blue, but I could. So this Dominus is sick. But more importantly, I get the VIP experience, which is amazing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, join another dungeon. But actually, wait, can I get a better weapon now? I could probably get a better upgrade. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should upgrade my weapon. So let's go to this. And just upgrade this a bunch. Okay, I don't have enough now, but I leveled this thing up to eight. So this is a lot better now, this sword. Now let's start another dungeon. And hopefully we can level up. Oh, I'm going to do hardcore as well. I'm going to create this lobby and I'm going to see who joins this. As long as that level 81. Oh my gosh, he's in. He's in. He's going to carry us, bro. I'm going to wait and see if anybody else wants to join. Then we're going to take this thing out again. I'm probably going to level up to level six, dude. Because with these multipliers... I should be good to go. Let's start the game now that we got four people. Bam. This game is very similar to Dungeon Quest, Treasure Quest, and all those, but the game does not disappoint. I love RPG games like this, and the fact that 
uh, Isaac made it and it's made by Bogum Sim. Devs, it's just quality. You can tell it's a quality game. So I'm down for it. I'm down for it. Let me know how you guys are liking it in the comment section below. And let me know how good you guys are. My sword is so good now. My sword is killing it, but I can't even do any damage because this guy's just clearing the way so fast. But now that I'm getting so much experience, I might actually level up to six. How far does my fireball reach? Oh, it doesn't hit there. It has like a, a reach limit. There we go. We're KOing people, even though I'm not doing anything because this level 81 is just carrying us, bro. He's such a carry. It's insane. Does your level, does your health go up over time? I think your health only goes up when you uh, level up. So you gotta be careful. I could die. I need to make sure that I'm about to level up. Okay, there we go. We're almost there. We're like two enemies away from five or for four. We need to get level six in order to do uh, the next part of this mission. So, or the next difficulty, I should say. There we go. Level four, level four. I don't know. I don't know if there's any like stats. Is there like strength and stats that you have to boost up when you level up? I don't think there is. Oh my gosh, I'm like losing health fast, but I got him. I KO'd him. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Me and this level 32 got it. How are these guys so OP? The game came out like yesterday. How is that person a level 81? Oh, here's the boss. So we can actually see the boss this time. Oh my gosh, he looks crazy. This guy one shots him though. <laughs> he literally one shots him. So we got new swords. Hey, you know, second place on damage, not bad. So this is my best time ever completing it. We got ourselves three items. We gained more experience because of the uh, game passes and we got more items because the VIP and the game passes. So let's check out what we just unlocked. Inventory. So this is the sword that I'm currently using. It's level eight and it's 7.8 melee damage. This is the new one I just got. So it's the same sword. I got two of them, but this one's better. So you guys already know we're going to equip this thing and we can sell this now. We can sell the broken sword. What about this? Oh yeah, I forgot about dual wield. Should we just do it? Screw it, dudes. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Blue Crew. I got dual wield. I got dual wield because I know you guys are going to want to see it. So here it is. Dual wield. You basically do double the damage. You can have double the, the items. That's literally insane. Okay. Oh, and then this helmet is actually better than this robe. So we're going to go ahead and sell that robe because it's not what we need. Uh, let's sell that. Let's go back to my inventory and put this on. Bam. So now we got ourselves 11.5 melee damage. We got a good health buff and then we got skills. Yeah, this is what I haven't been doing. I haven't been increasing my strength and stuff. So I have skill points. Every time you level up, you get skill points. So let's go ahead and just put them there. Not bad. Not too bad. All right. So we got pretty much everything covered now. We can probably upgrade these weapons a bit, but I don't really have that many coins. My goal is to unlock some insanely rare stuff, though. I know I said I wouldn't spend Robux on this game, guys, but it's it's like my friend's game and it's like too addicting to spend Robux sometimes when you're able to get OP so fast. So we got a, oh, we almost got two level 10s, a level 10 and a level eight Crusader sword. That's what we rock right now. That's what we're rocking. So let's go right back into a dungeon and we're not level six yet, so we can't quite do that other one but we can do hardcore. Do another easy difficulty because I'm not level six yet. We're on hardcore in the caves, but we don't have the level 81 guy. We actually have some pretty good people, some like 17s, but the level 81 guy is not in our party. So he's not gonna be carrying us this time, guys. It's all up to us. Can we go through here? Oh wait, we need two more people. Two more people are loading in and then we're gonna destroy this place. How much damage we can do with these double swords and maybe we can actually do some damage now. Unlike when we had the level 81 guy carrying us. Oh my gosh, these guys are still too powerful. They're one-shotting everything. I just have to get in front of them. I have to get in front of them. I need to do more damage. I'm gonna go to this left side. These are mine. These are my enemies. My enemies. Die. Yo, I'm doing damage now. I'm doing absolute work on these clowns. So I'm almost level five. Remember, we need level six to get to the next difficulty. I'm not gonna progress too much in the game today. 
even though I did spend a lot of Robux, I know. But I'm not gonna progress too far. I'm not gonna be able to make it to the next dungeon. So if you guys wanna see another video on this game, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Like the video, and maybe I'll play it again because I like these RPG style games a lot, including Adventure Up. I had fun playing that game. So if you guys ever wanna see some more videos on this, I absolutely will. This game's brand new and it's made by the simulator devs, some of the biggest simulator devs. So I figured I had to pay homage and play it and let me know what you guys think. This was almost a record too. Pretty sure this was almost a time record. We're super close. Like, I, I'm pretty sure it took us a minute 37 seconds. Oh no, I died! Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention to my health and I died. I'm such a noob. No! So what happens if you die? Do I get any of the loot? Or do I not get the loot now? I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's see what happens when they KO this orc. Do I get the loot still, is the question. Oh, I do. Nice! So I still get the loot, even if I, if I die, dude. That's amazing. And I think we got a new best record. So we're doing pretty good, not bad. Even though I, I died and I didn't do much of the work. Not too bad, let's check our inventory. We got this, the rusty dagger, but it's not quite as good as this one. This one is ranked up, but this one, this one's not very good. So we could probably just sell it. We also got armor. We don't have chest armor. So that's our first chest armor. We got another leather head that we, we can sell because it's an extra. We got a cosmetic, but we already have a Dominus. So like, I don't really need that. Oh, we have this aura too. Let's wear that aura. And then that's pretty much it. So let's sell. Oh my gosh, the aura looks sick. Look at my swords. That looks crazy cool. Such a good idea to have the aura on the swords and not on the uh, not on the character because it's kind of annoying on the character. It looks sick on the swords. That's amazing, dude. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do one more dungeon. I am not ready to do the next tier yet, but we're going to have to do this again. So hopefully I can survive and take on the boss. I ended up starting the game with literally only three people, including me. So two people besides me. One of them is a level 41 though, so he can probably carry me. But the other one is the same level as me. Level four, yeah, right under me. <laughs> so it's, it's not gonna be as easy as before. I really don't have that big of a carry and we don't have that many players. So hopefully I can do this on my own. Oh my gosh, that guy has insane abilities. And he has a healing ability. That's amazing. So he has a healing ability and this like crystal ability where he like shoots a wave of crystals. That thing's sick. All right, let's take these guys out. Thanks for the carry, someone said in the chat. Yeah, these guys have been carrying me pretty well. This game is fun though. I love these grindy games. And with this one, the fact that you like kind of know your chances of which loot you're gonna get makes you wanna keep on replaying it until you get the best loot. So I like that. I like those looter games where you do stuff like that. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of miners in here. Bunch of zombie miners in here. Skeleton wizard. Any secrets? Any secret chests? Would be cool if there was secret chests, but I don't think there is. Yo, heal me, brother. Heal me, brother. He's healing himself. What a selfish fool. Heal me, brother. Also, this looks very different. The path of this cave. So maybe the cave path does change each time. I'm not really sure exactly how that works but I don't really remember this. Maybe it is the same way and I'm just stupid, but I don't really remember this. We're almost to the end of this cave, so make sure you smash the like button if you want to see more. Subscribe if you're new, and let's see if I can actually fight the boss this time. I've literally never done damage on the boss. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the boss. Come on. Let me get close enough. Fireball. Yes. I actually touched the boss. I did some damage. <laughs> These guys are still carrying me, so I'm going to leave without the group and show you guys my last loot session. But that was it, this was Rumble Quest. This game was super fun. Again, sorry if my energy was a little bit different because I, I clearly have a sore throat, but this is my new, oh my gosh, this is my new ability. So equip his ability too. So I have two abilities. My skills are unmatched right now. Strength is at two, health is at two. I got some pretty good armor. I got legs. I, I, I haven't had legs yet. So I have a full thing of armor, two swords, a really cool aura, a Dominus head, and I'm looking pretty snazzy. So we made it 
to a point where I think it's a good stopping point. If you guys want to see some more, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Who knows what this update's going to be coming soon, but I'm excited because it looks like a PvP Coliseum. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy and goodbye.